Welcome to Drawing with Paolo, everyone. Today we're going to be drawing Santa Claus, and here's Santa Claus's head and neck. And of course, Santa Claus today will be trying to climb out of a um, chimney or trying to climb into a chimney. It really depends how you want to see it. Here's Santa Claus' right arm and his left elbow with his forearm, bicep, tricep, and shoulder. Bicep, tricep, here's his tricep, there's his elbow, forearm, bicep on this side, there we go. And so his arms are bent because he's helping himself up, uh, trying to get out, maybe stuck, because you know, Santa's a fat guy, right? So he's big and, yeah, he's having a hard time. I guess he forgot to use his magic this year. There we go. Now we need to put this little brim here for his hat. This will be a, a nice uh, brim, and we'll get rid of that eraser mark. So, well, not eraser marks, but the pencil marks. Here's his big belly coming into here, and his back over here, and then we'll have cuffs at the end of his jacket. Here's our, here are his mittens. He's wearing mittens, this Santa Claus of mine. And you can choose, you know, to give him gloves or something else, but I feel like putting mittens on my Santa Claus. And here's our chimney. So this is the entrance to the chimney, a nice rectangle. And here's the thickness to that. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Of course, we need the thickness to the top of the chimney. So we're gonna have to retrace a line here. So this will be the, the entrance part, but what we're gonna do here is trace the thickness. So let's pull that a little bit longer. And this is where the, the uh, front part of the chimney will be. And then we'll create the other entrance hole right here, like that. Retrace his thumb a little bit. There we go. So now we have the thickness of the chimney and the sides of the chimney. And so we can really tell that Santa's stuck here. And here's the, the part where his legs are in. So this section of the chimney. Need to keep that same angle as the top. Here's the rooftop, which will be full of snow. And then, of course, we need to give him this uh, collar here. Just a little bit of a V-neck collar kind of thing. Just like that. And, of course, his hat. There's a nice little hat there dangling behind there. And let's put in some facial details. So the outline of his face that comes into big beard. Santa's a bearded man. I don't think he's seen a big shaver in a few years. <laughs> um, yeah, there's his big mustache. Just like this. A little stretched out M, right? For the mustache, for the top of the mustache. There's his arms. We're going to retrace the outlines of the arms here. Just a little bit. Here's that cuff that I was talking to you about earlier, which will be uh, hairy, you know. And of course, there's that white line that comes down in the front of his jacket. Now, there are different versions of Santa Claus, and uh, I want to draw this kind. This is, this is my version of Santa Claus, and some of you out there will say, well, that's not what Santa Claus really looks like. Um, that's okay. That's up to you guys to decide. This is my drawing, and therefore, this is how I want to draw it. And that's how you should feel at home. You should be able to draw whatever you want to draw. And uh, don't be influenced by anybody. So let's create this little hair. And if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that we draw lots of hair. We've drawn animals and all kinds of things. And we're, all we're doing is little, little short strokes. It's actually press and pull, press and pull to make these little lines, little hair lines. There we go. And of course, the other hair that we're going to draw on Santa, we're going to uh, increase the speed on it a little bit. So you, you get the idea of how to do this. And of course, this is just in time for the holidays, for, for Christmas. Santa Claus comes around every year, and we're getting real close to Christmas now. So as I'm filming this, it is about five days away from Christmas, uh, 2013. So if you're in the future, hello future, this was drawn a while ago. If it's, you know, if you're in 2013 right now, well, happy Christmas to you, or as we would say around my place, Merry Christmas. And I wish you all the best, especially health this year. Uh, without health, you've got nothing else. So I hope you guys that are healthy, stay healthy. If you guys are sick, I hope you get better. And I really hope that this year is an amazing one for all of us. All right, so we're going to draw here the bottom part of his mustache, or actually the top of his beard. <clears throat> Let me get a better idea of what Santa Claus sort of looks like now. He drew his eyes in there, and uh, I'm going to draw his ear right here. This is where his ear should go. I'm going to erase a little things inside there in a few minutes. But first, we're going to add a little bit of shading here underneath the hat. And we're going to erase this little part here next to the ear. Now, uh, you may have seen in the beginning of my video, I do have my new book that's out. 
called uh, Drawing Like Paolo, Shading, essentially. I want to shorten that title a little bit, but if you have a hard time with shading and whatnot, you can pick up my book. It's for iPad and Mac OS X and I download it. It's $3.99 or about there, depending on where you live. But I would say around $4 is sort of what you'd be paying for my book, which explains how light works, how shading works, and you can get a better idea of how to shade your, your, your drawings. All right, let's add a bit of detail here to this mustache here, and we need to let it pop out here on the side, right? We need a 3D effect here, so it's important for that mustache to come out there on the left side there. All right, we're gonna add a few lines here at the bottom of his lip, and then we're gonna add a bit of detail here to the side of his beard, and his ear, of course. And let's add some little hairy shapes to the side of his beard with a little wisp of hair here at the bottom. Look at that, it's our Santa. A little rosy cheeks, tip of his nose too. Well, I give him a little bit of a rosy cheek look there. It is cold out. Santa needs to be outside all night, you know, 24 hours to be delivering all those gifts. He must be magical. All right, so the next step would be to color in this hat. So we're going to color this whole thing in a nice shade of gray and then add some shading here where there are little uh, folds in the clothing and at the bottom of this hat. Of course, light is coming from the top, I would say top left, and uh, it would create a shadow here on this side. <clears throat> so we'll color, color that in, essentially. And there we go. So it's sort of like a gradient. A gradient means that we're starting from a dark color on the left side and coloring lighter and lighter as we go towards the right side, right? All right, so we're gonna add some hairiness here to this front strip on his jacket. And like I said before, we've done hair a whole bunch of times. It, yeah, I can even think of, let's say, a ghost Simon Riley drawing there. His, he's got that hairy uh, jacket as well. So we've been doing this over and over again. So hopefully you guys are used to it by now. If this is the first video you see of mine, I've got lots of them out there now. And uh, go to my channel, my Drawing with Paolo channel, and you'll be able to see all the videos. They're all there. <clears throat> so here's this little fur front part. We're going to outline the arm here. Then we're going to erase that in that frame inside there that we don't need anymore. A little bit of a fold here for the closing for the clothes. There we go. Add a little bit of hair for the cuff. <clears throat> Pardon me. My throat is a little scratchy this time of year. All right, we're going to erase the inner workings of our drawing so you know those foundation lines, get rid of those, and retrace the outlines if we've smudged those up a little bit. There we go. A few more curves here and there. All right, and let's work on his back here. Trace in that nice line back there and erase the lines we don't need. Next step will be to add buttons. Now I want to add buttons like this, black buttons. You can add any kind of buttons that you like, but what's important is that the buttons follow the contour of the body. See how I'm curving these buttons, like making them sideways a little bit? That makes it more realistic that the buttons are following his, bo his body lines. And I'm going to put a horizontal line here. That means this is how he's buckled his buttons through there, or buttoned his buttons. It's a lot of buttons in that phrase. And then the outline here for his uh, left arm. <clears throat> and his big belly. And we'll erase the foundation lines there too. I erased the beard a little bit, so we'll put that back in. And of course, we're going to add some outline here to his arm. And we're probably going to shade that in too, because it's important for our uh, Santa to have that same, his jacket should have the same color as his hat. So we're going to color this in real quick. So let's do that. Let's color all that in. Now, if you find that I'm drawing too quickly, once again, just pause the video. You can catch up at that point. And then once you know, you've caught up, you can hit play again, or you can watch the video uh, once completely uh, and then uh, replay it essentially if uh, you want to draw along and of course this is why I'm drawing for you guys so that you can tag along draw with me and get to learn how to draw these things and Santa Claus is a I think a really good choice and was a special request made of, uh, a few weeks ago but because we're so close to the holidays I think it's important to uh, punch that in there and so we're going to color in the mittens here same color as the jacket same light gray there we go color this whole thing in now you can use color at home if you'd like, 
uh, don't be shy to do the outlines in black and then color the insides. I like to use pencil because I don't want any of you guys to have to pay for anything for any additional tools. So if you can just grab a pencil, you can draw these drawings. All my drawings are black and white just so that everybody can follow along and it doesn't have to pay very much for uh, additional tools. So just a piece of paper, any piece of paper will do, and uh, your pencil. And the tool isn't that important. It's not the tool that counts here. It's the artist, right? It's the person using it. So you can use a marker, you can use felt pen, you can use a pencil, a, a, it doesn't really matter. The point is that you're drawing. So we're gonna add a little shadow here to that shoulder. Make sure this is nice and uh, rounded out. We want Santa to look 3D this year, this year. I do have a uh, holiday drawing for last year. And it was a French character called Titeuf. And um, yeah, this year I felt like drawing Santa. Just, just plain old Santa, but somewhat funny where he's stuck in the chimney. Or, you know, probably coming out of it. That's, that's your story to tell. You can tell your friends and family whatever you want as far as what this drawing is doing for you. All right, color that in. A little bit of shading here. And we're doing the shading as if it was hair. So little strokes here on the pencil. And same thing here for the side of the, the front part of the jacket. And here as well because, you know, sort of... Uh, bulbous in this area, so we're going to color that in just like that. Little hair details here and there. We're going to add a bit of hair to his beard as well. Just really light strokes to his beard. Really light lines. Give a bit of detail there. Same here to the mustache. There we go. Nothing too fancy, right? We just want to keep this super simple. And we're going to add, add that same hair texture here to the side of the hat. There you have it. Very good indeed. It's uh, snowing here today um, where I live. We've got a little bit of a storm going on and this week it was pretty cold. We hit minus 33 Celsius. Now, for those of you that use Celsius, you know how cold that is. For you, those of you that use Fahrenheit, when we get to minus 40 Celsius and minus 40 Fahrenheit are even. So you can tell how cold it is when we're at minus 33. This week was a pretty cold week. Even my car wouldn't start at one point. It's just like, too cold, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> sort of stuck at home. All right, let's color in this uh, jacket. So we're gonna draw a bunch of snow and the reason why I want to draw a bunch of snow is because it's snowing pretty good right now today. So I want to draw a bunch of snow on this rooftop. And we'll also give, uh, give Santa Claus a nice environment to be in. So, all right, let's draw this, uh, this snow on top of this chimney here. The uh, edge of the chimney must have snow on top of it. Here's a snow top line here, and there'll be a thickness on the edge. So we'll draw this thickness and go all the way around. And leave some little overlapping curves here with the, with the lines. Just like this. And we need to do that at the back too, but let's erase the front part. And we'll overlap this snow back here, and erase that in there too. Okay, so let's retrace the outline to our chimney. This all the way back and then the front line here and so because I said earlier that the light is coming from the left side we're gonna shade in the, the right side here and the same thing on this the front will be lighter but remember there is shadow coming from the snow so that's what we need to draw like below the snow here okay a little bit of the hat just need to retrace certain things here color in nice and dark back there you know, as, as I draw along, I tend to keep looking at my drawing as I'm drawing, and then I, I uh, change things or make things better. So sometimes I'll stop drawing what I'm doing. Let's say I was working on the chimney, and I'll go back to the clothes and say, you know, I may have to re -add, add a few more details. And you can do that. Um, feel free to you know, jump around on your drawing. As soon as you see something that's wrong, go attack it. So because you may forget some things, and I've forgotten a lot of stuff. When I re-watch re some of my videos, I'm like, oh, I should have done this and should have done that, but that's okay. That's part of the learning process. You have to take the time to uh, keep your drawings. Don't throw them out, stack them up, and look through them once in a while so that you can say, hey, I should have done this this way and should have done this that way, right, and get better at it. So here are the brick lines for our chimney. It's a nice little straight lines and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw a brick but first let's add a nice layer of snow here at the bottom of the chimney just like that all right let me erase that line down there we don't need that and so because this is brick we need to leave a little bit of a thickness here and where there's a line needs to dip in 
brick dip so brick dip brick dip brick see get the idea same thing on this side brick dip brick and the dip is the crack where we put you know concrete to hold the brick together um, and so we're going to add these separator lines now so and it's two lines side by side so we can denote the thickness of the brick there well not the thickness of the brick but the thickness of the concrete and well this brick needs to come to the side corner like that there we go and we need to overlap them so you can't make lines vertical lines all the way down the side of the chimney, they need to be staggered like this, so it looks more like brick. And then we're going to retrace the insides so that the bricks look like they are rectangles, uh, separate rectangles side to side, rather than just one big long line of things. I really want these to look like individual bricks. And you know what, everything uh, in the, on the planet, everything everywhere is just made of basic shapes and bricks are just rectangles. Once you figure that out, once you figure out that everything is just a basic shape, and everyone should know how to draw basic shapes, draw circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, then you can draw anything you want. Everything is made of basic shapes. So let's color this side of the chimney, make this a little bit darker than the top part, and we can color each additional brick a little bit darker so that we can, we can notice that the bricks have different colors. And we'll color this one right here. There we go. So that we have the idea that the bricks are of different color and uh, they're pretty cool like that. And then adding the shadow here at the bottom because, of course, of the lip of the uh, chimney at the top. This side will have to be a lot darker. Remember that uh, the light is not hitting this side. This is the dark side. And so this will be darker. We'll color that around there. Get that done. There two. There we go, different brick colors. All right, it's coming along pretty well, this drawing. Now, I want to shade the snow, and people will say, well, are you crazy? The snow is white. Yes, I agree, snow is white, but in our case, we're going to use a little bit of a light gray, and then we'll use our eraser to add light reflections to our snow. So here we go. I'm going to put in my light reflection there. So it really gives an idea that the snow is white, but there's a nice little shadow uh, applied to the, to the snow. And I don't know if that, you can see that on screen, but I, I like it, the effect. And we'll repeat that on the top of the roof later on. And yes, in Canada, we say roof. We don't say roof. Roof is a U.S. thing, I think. Not sure about you guys in the U.K. land, but uh, or in, in Australia. But we say roof in Canada. And it's the rooftop where Santa is perched now. And okay, let's work on the snow here. We're going to add a few more details. We need to show that Santa walked up to the, to the chimney, so we're going to have to add some uh, footprints. First, just rework that outline here. All right, so here's one boot hole footprint, just like that. And here's another one. We're going to add three, just so that we have a nice round number there. And fill that there so it looks like it's deep in there. There we go. All right, and uh, let's add one more right here, just like that. This little uh, mountain uh, looks like it's perfect for a little boot hole. So Santa walked up to the chimney and was trying to get in, and we'll add his. We can't, you know, we can't have a Santa without his Santa bag. So his Santa bag here, his Christmas gift bag, is right here on the side of the chimney, and um, we'll put the opening of the bag just like this. So it's sort of like a flag, right? A flapping or, or curtains. If you want to learn how to draw this properly, just sit in front of the curtains that you have at home and draw what you see. There's nothing like drawing what you see to make you a great artist. So there we go. And speaking of gifts, this would be a great gift to give to one of your friends, family members, or anyone at all. This Santa drawing to say, hey, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. All right, so let's draw a few lines here. Show that the bag is full. And apparently Santa's bag is magical, which means the more stuff he puts in his bag, the bigger that bag gets. Now that's what he told me once anyway. Let's color this bag in. And notice that this bag is lighter than Santa Claus himself, because the bag is not as important as Santa. So I'm drawing it a little bit lighter, because it's in the background. It's farther behind. And I don't necessarily want this bag to be the most important part of the drawing. So it's going to be a little bit lighter. I'm not pressing on my pencil so hard. I'm going to add a bit of shading here inside that draw inside that bag. Not inside the drawing, the bag itself. There you go. It's a little bit dar darker. Pull that in. This one too. 
All right. There we go. Maybe a little bit of shading here to the side of the bag where those lines are. All right, and what we're going to start doing soon is drawing the environment. Uh, where Santa is, he's going to be in a neighborhood somewhere. A neighborhood that sort of looks like mine, I suppose. And once I finish this bag, we're going to attack that. But I think we're going to color the snow below the chimney as well. There's a little cord there. Keeping the bag tight, tightly closed. All right, let's color in the snow very lightly. And then once it's nice and grayed out like that, we're going to smudge it with our hand like this. Smudge, smudge, smudge. See, it's one of the first drawings, actually. Well, we've done a few like this, but where we smudge our drawing, we want to make it nice and flat gray. And you need to use the side of your hand to do that, right? So what I'm doing is I'm using this portion here, this portion right here of my hand, and smudging it, smudging that drawing just like this. And then we're going to use our eraser and make nice little white reflections where the light is really bouncing off the snow. It makes it look pretty realistic there and 3D-ish. So really around here, around that little boot hole there. Footprint, same thing on this one here. Looks like he's on the moon sort of now. <laughs> Looks like moon craters. Man, am I crazy or does this look like the moon? So we're gonna have to create an environment back there. We're gonna have to make it look like he's in a neighborhood and he's not trying to get into a chimney on the moon. Trust me, there are no chimneys on the moon. I know, I don't think so. So let's draw a lamppost, sort of over here. And this is what the lampposts look like on my street. So they're curved, they go up, they curve, and then come right back down to the lamp, or the actual glass globe. And the light bulb is in there somewhere. There we go. That's one lamppost. And we're gonna make it a little bit darker. I could have left it that way though. There we go, there, just nice lines like this. Curving that, and then we're gonna add a little bit of detail in this uh, globe here, just uh, cross hatching lines. And the other way, there we go, just a little bit of detail, not too much. And then we're gonna shade this side of the post. Keep the, the same theme throughout your drawing, as if you're putting shadow on the right side, then there should be shadow everywhere on the right side. And shadow at the bottom, then there should be shadow everywhere at the bottom, right? I just feel like doing reflections and stuff. So. Now we're going to put the roof of another house. So a triangle, right? And then another thin triangle and then go keep straight off. Poof, that's the that's snow on top of the roof, just like this. And then horizontal lines this way. Show that that's flashing or siding or whatever you want to call it for the side of the house. And there's my snow. We're also going to give this little house a little bit of shading. And we should give it a little bit of a uh, chimney too. But this guy will have just a standard chimney where it's like an exhaust chimney. So we're going to make a little triangular thing at the top. So here's a cylinder with a, another cylinder, a little bit thicker but thinner. And then a little triangular piece or, or a, like that. And then a, a cone on top of that. There we go. So you, you've seen these houses, right? Those, ha so those houses have these little chimneys. And we're going to create the snow thickness back at the bottom here. There you go. And we're going to color in. The left side, just like we did the other chimney. But this is a cylinder, so it's not flat. It needs to feel like it's rounded out. So we need to color in a little bit of a gradient there. All right, let's create another house right here. And then that's that, pretty much. We've done our Santa Claus drawing. Guys, I'd like to thank you for watching Drawing with Paolo now in the third year. Uh, thanks for being there. I'd like to wish you a happy Christmas and happy new year. And uh, we'll see you next time in another episode of Drawing with Paolo as soon as I finish this little house here. Take care. See you soon, guys. Happy holidays. Last thing, signature. All right, guys. Catch you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.